So today in this session, I will basically discuss regarding the SAS services. And just before this session, I have already to be discussed with the SAS services and SAS services of the platform. And now I will discuss the SAS services. What is the SAS services? Why it is so important? And what are the service providers for the SAS? Okay. So to discuss this and more topics which is related to SAS services, I just uh, want to share some files which will help to to better understand me regarding this all the things. Clear. So hold on. I'm saying that one. Here is the SaaS services. So, what are the software as a services? Software as a service is a way of delivering applications over the internet as a service instead of installing and maintaining the software. We simply accessing the internet, paying yourself for the software to the if we talk about the SaaS applications, are some or web based applications, on demand software, hosted software, whatever the name SaaS applications, many of the SaaS providers The providers manage access to the applications of the application, including the security, ability, and performance of software. If we talk about this, the pay of role in the SaaS, what is so SaaS customers have no hardware or software to buy, install, and maintain or update. Access to application is easy, you must need an internet connection. So if we talk about the SaaS characteristics, so what is it? If we need to understand the SaaS model is by thinking of a bank which protects the privacy of each customer. Why? Providing service that is reliable on the secure on a massive scale. A bank's customers can use the same financial system and technology without worrying about anyone accessing their personal information in the organization's also. Now, if we talk about the bank, so like a bank needs key characteristics of the SaaS model, like what? Multi-tenant architecture. A multi-tenant architecture is that when all users and applications share in similar common infrastructures and cloud space that is called centrally maintained. Because SaaS and Linux clients are all on the same infrastructure and cloud space, so the vendors can innovate more quickly and save the vendors and technology time previously spent on the maintenance of numerous system and uh, numerous system, numerous version of the outdated code source. If you talk about the easy customization in the SaaS, so the ability for each user to easily customize applications to fit their business process without affecting the common infrastructures because of the way SaaS is architected these customizations are unique to each company or users and we are always visible through updates. That means SaaS providers make updates more often with less customers and much lower adoption costs also. In low adoption costs, they are providing a much lower service system. So better it is better in access, so it also improves the data to any local uh, and also by making it easy to manage and to do the same on your databases and ensure that you can see the same information at the same time. And if you talk about the SaaS harness, the customer will be familiar with image and the mobile of it. They are familiar with the web interfaces of typically SaaS uh, services applications with the SaaS model. You can see what's the point of the web is going to be done. SARS, what are the SARS strengths? So, organizations now develop SARS integration platform 
for delivering additional soft application. The consulting from the soft up technology first and third way in software adoptions will SaaS moves beyond standalone software functionality to become the platform for initial critical applications also. So this is the SaaS trends. If you talk about the this is all about your SaaS services. If I just uh, take you that uh, I'm calling this all the SaaS services once again. Then uh, just recall these sessions once. So what will be the SaaS? SaaS platform makes the software available to the users over the internet, usually for a month subscriptions fee. Okay. So if you talk about the SaaS delivery, so SaaS delivery is just from the over the internet, same as the same as the as a for services. If you talk about the SaaS advantage, so what will be the advantage of SaaS? With the SaaS, you don't need to install and run so, uh, software application on your computer. Everything is available over the internet. You log on into your account online. You can easily access the softwares from any devices anytime. Clear. So the same goes for anyone else you did have seen all your test data staff will uh, have personalized login suitable to their access levels also. Okay, so uh, you no longer need to engage an IT specialist to download your software onto the multiple computers through your office or worry about keeping the software on every computer up to date also. Okay, so it is all taken care of in the cloud. So another key advantage of the payment uh, structures. So most of us so providers operate in you know, a uh, subscription model into a fixed and exclusive monthly uh, fee. You don't exactly how much the software and cost you and budget accordingly worry about hidden components. Okay, hidden surprises also. So most subscription include the maintenance of compliances and security services which can be time consuming and costly when using on and the SaaS providers also uh, offer out of the box solutions that are very simple to set up with more complex solutions for large organizations. You could have the basic software up to date running and with the matter of hours, and you have access to customer service and support along with way. If you talk about the SaaS characteristics, so what will be the SaaS characteristics like? So I'm just telling you to about the SaaS characteristics. Like what? Mm -hmm. The SaaS platforms are available over the internet, hosted on a remote server by third party providers, scalable with a different rise for um, small and medium enterprises, labor and business, and platforms host offering the security and compliance and maintenance as part of the course. If you talk about the earning to use the SaaS services, so SaaS platform are ideal for them to want to application to run smoothly and reliably with minimum input from you. Take your email server for example, you want to know that you can continue to see the same mails without needing a fill with a regular email setting or worry about the updates. Imagine if you are for it to update and to do into days without emails. emails. Okay, so this is not uh, an option to raise marketplace. If you use SaaS platform to run among them, okay, so if you use the SaaS platforms to run your email box and uh, the chance of something going wrong with your email. So what will happen? And if something did go wrong, it will it would be up to the SaaS providers to find the solutions of the problems. And if you are not only paying for the SaaS application product, you will pay for a piece of the money so also. Okay. So if we talk about the SaaS e-commerce example, so we can say like the big commerce is an example of the SaaS e-commerce platform. The e-commerce provides a complete software software as well as posted to the infrastructure managers. Also, the e-commerce platform also has the regular goods that is an attribute of promotions and all the software license and dates and listed costs. So students, I hope that you will get this session very clearly in your mind and in case you have doubts 